Well, there it is. That's the trailer for WRC 8. Um, yeah, first off, I, I think it looks pretty um, pretty decent. I'm just going to play through it again uh, and see some of the bits that I've noticed on it. Uh, so, first off, I mean, it's hard to tell the physics, really, because you can a lot of it's rendered, so it won't be actual gameplay. Uh, but the likes of this, uh, the detail in the cockpit is a lot better than than WRC7. Like there's more with the dials and um, it just looks pretty much cleaner and more more realistic. Whereas the WRC7 looked pretty played. Uh, so that was one of the things I noticed first off. Uh, again, the the stages look awesome look like they're going to be really well done again um tire models i don't know if that's like a little hint to tire model uh there's something that comes up here i think it's the weather or the yeah the, the stones in the stage as well the stage detail looks looks superb there uh, it looks like there's a lot of rocks and a lot of rubble that could be hit uh, great scenery view i don't know if that's meant to be i'll Condor is it maybe? Like an El Condor Argentina stage. Although yeah, possibly it looks rough and ragged like Argentina. But I can't remember if Argentina has got if it's seaside or not. Um so I'm not too sure on that. But either way the stage gravel and debris looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, and now if that's gameplay that looks good. Now it mentions as well dynamic weather, uh, so I think that's like a little hint to that. That's going to have uh, similar to day four where the weather will change during the stage, so it won't be necessarily just picking dry, wet, or rain. It's going to change midway through, which is always good as well. It always adds to the excitement. Yeah, what else have we got? I like the wind as well, the way it's sort of blown through. Looks pretty awesome. Like the wet mud, wet gravel again. A similar stage. Yeah, that that looks rough. That's got to be Argentina, that. Yeah, so th not a great deal. Um, but there's enough to see where it's going. It also said on the website, uh, aim for the top in the most intense WRC experience yet. Never, bubble never before has the official WRC simulation been this authentic. Uh, so again, it looks like they're going more simulation, um, which is a good thing. They don't seem afraid to make a hard game, which is which is good considering it, like franchise games like WRC and the Formula One, and they're meant to be aimed more at a mass market. So any r rally fan who's not necessarily into like hard games can pick it up and play it, but Big Ben or Killerton, whoever you want to call them, they seem to be like really pushing the standard of dif difficulty, not afraid to sort of go out there. The stages in WRC7 were pff, brutal, absolutely brutal, and they were fantastic. Um, it says as well, new off road physics on all road surfaces. Um, I don't know if that means off road, as in when you come off the actual stage. WRC seven. If you come off the, if you come off onto the sides, the physics go really wonky. Like you can hit like a little stone or a little bit of rough ground, and it just your car goes all over the place. It like will bounce up or so when you when you're trying to spot cuts and you're trying to cut this cut make little cuts here and there as they would in real life, it doesn't always work because uh, the the surface is like unpredictable it's, it's got a real strange feeling to it so i don't know if by saying new off-road physics on all road surfaces i don't know if that's made yet yeah, we've sorted the cuts out when you come off the stage now you're not going to hit like weird wonky shittiness um completely redesigned career mode which is good as well it's nice to play through the career but it's not i wouldn't say it's something I personally go for. Although saying that, 
I suppose I did with WRC, with the WRC game, so it is nice to play through the career. Uh, but more the dirt rallies and the dirt 2.0s and stuff, it tend to be more online leagues. I, I'd like them to concentrate more on an online aspect and have some sort of um, multiplayer tournament built in. Uh, so you so people can set up actual leagues and stuff like that. That's I prefer them to go that way personally. But the career mode still good. Uh, again, dynamic weather, fifty plus teams, fourteen countries, a hundred plus stages. I'm sure WRC seven had fifty three or fifty seven stages, was it? Uh, so it's nearly double the amount of stages. That was something WRC seven was really lacking. It was the amount of stages that it had per country. So it looks like they've gone they've gone all out and doubled the amount of stages, which is a great sign. Uh, weekly challenges and esports mode, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, first thoughts. Looks good, it's hard to tell from a first trailer, obviously. But from what you can see, it does look promising. And what they've said, it looks promising. So, yeah, let's hope, um, let's hope they really go for it. Uh, they've had by the time it comes out in September, it's two years they've had to work on it, so expect big changes hopefully, uh, and an almost completely new, new game. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's uh, keep an eye on it and hope it's a decent one. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.